Hello and welcome to another episode of Tackle Making 101 with TNJ Custom Tackle. I'm your host Jeremy and uh, what we've been doing today is pouring jig heads. So I've got 500 jig heads there and another 100 more to go here. i got Arky jigs and football jigs there. Poured all these spinners and powder coated masks this weekend. Well, I'm out here sitting on the river my little trailer here making stuff and uh, fishing with some shrimp for catfish and in my earlier video today I showed you guys why we uh, use a light leader on our uh, our weight because uh, it's hard to see it right here uh, hey. So, there's our three-way swivel there. Come off that one side with the same pound test that I'm using on my rod for my hook. Then I come off from the other side with 10 pound test line and use the leader for my sinker. Now, when you catch a big catfish like I just did, it'll, get ra it'll wrap up in the rock and your big sinker is the first thing to get stuck so that breaks off and you can get yourself a catfish like this one alright so that's about a seven pound channel cat there perfect eating, ah oh, it's about five pounds perfect eating size today is Wednesday uh, March like I don't know seventh or whatever it is but uh I'm going to take this and I'm going to fillet it and bring it to my parents' house out in Mesa this evening and let's see if we can eat some fresh catfish. Anyways, that's, that's why we use 10 pound test leader for our weight. If you're fishing in a river, you know, you catch these big catfish, the first thing you're going to do is try to wrap you up on a log or a rock or something. The first thing that's going to catch on that log or rock is going to be your weight. So, I catch 90% more fish than I used to tying it on this way. And it breaks that line off and that big fish gets on there and that weight is stuck. It breaks that line off and you can get your fish in. So, that's about the fourth catfish I caught today. Alright, well thanks for watching.